Okay, uh, hey guys. So, today is Saturday, and I don't feel like making a video, but this is not going to start off like this. This is so negative. Get yourself together. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Girls and guys, we have to talk. So, I don't know if you all have been following me on my community tab and on my stories and stuff, but I have been rocking with this uh dax kokoda dry scalp relief uh hair grease and i greased my scalp with this for a whole week i am lying no i did not i greased it all up until yesterday i didn't grease it yesterday and tomorrow will be a week so i'm lying i'm doing like the rest of the youtubers i'm just lying but i have been using it though i have i have been using it i have been using it though i use it for five days and i usually apply a little bit to my scalp every night before I go to bed and guys it is the best thing ever but I'm we're gonna have to talk about the smell though so for those who don't know Dax Kokoda has coconut yeah coconut oil and tar in it and it smells just like tar literally it looks like tar it is black this is black Dax because $3.99 at the um, beauty supply house it smells like burnt neighborhood, somebody housed and caught on fire. It smells like somebody melted tennis shoes bottom on a hot summer day. It smells like highway pavement. It smells like concrete. It smells like a lowercase jar of booty peppers. So don't ask me what booty peppers are. I don't, I don't know what they are, but this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a cold, it's actually got like a blue hue to it too. It's like a cold black with a blue undertone. I like it. That's what it looks like. I'm trying to have my elbows because I don't want to see no elbows and armpits. I'm so sick of looking at them. And yeah, I've been been using it for uh, yeah almost a week now. And it feels good. It feels good on my scalp. And I'm not going to put any more in tonight because I think tomorrow I'm going to shampoo my hair. My hair has not been shampooed since Christmas Eve. Here it is. January 24th, which means it's been a month. I ain't did nothing to my head. My head, my hair has been braided for a whole month and I have still not gotten my ends trimmed. I have not gotten myself together. So I'll probably get these trimmed in February. This was an old flat iron hairstyle that's turned greasy baby style. That has turned greasy baby style. It's trying to throw up in everything. So I have, when I posted this on my community tab, a lot of you guys say you, you have seen this before as children. Your grandmommy used to put it in your hair or she used to use it in her hair. I have never seen this before until last year. And when I saw this, I'm like, this looks pretty, pretty interesting. One day I'm gonna buy it. So one day on a whim, I bought it and I'm just now using it. I think I bought it like a month or so ago or maybe two months. And I'm just now using it. And I added it to my new collection of not new collection, but my collection of grease. Can you see it? Oh, can you see it? Ooh, girl, can you see it? Can you see? Oh, what you say? What you say? Oh, what you say? What you say? What you say about that grease back there? You don't know about that grease back there. Oh, that, oh them greases back there. So I just posted a video showing all six hair greases in six seconds. Now, I'm going to post it to this video to, too. So if you want to know exactly what that is behind my wide back. The reason why you can't see it because I got that football back. Don't play with me because I will tackle you. So far, so good. I do like it. Now, it has the whole house smell like old lady feet. I, I must say that. And I thought it lasted. I think I could smell the smell of my hair for a few hours. But eventually it goes away. And the reason why I know that, know that is because I paid attention because one of my uh, babies, one of my greasy babies or one of my followers or one of my people, they saw my community tap and she said it usually, the smell usually goes away uh, after a few hours. So sure enough, it does go away and it holds a deep shine and it keeps my, the, the spots that I have oiled and greased, I, my scalp don't itch there no more until like maybe a two, two or three days later, but it lasts a long time on, you know, as far as itching because I don't want to have any more ball spots. I don't think I got any ball spots this year, guys. I have been paying attention to myself ever since last year when I realized that that was me scratching my scalp to, to damnation. And it's because of eating wrong food that has a lot of allergies in it, like sugar. And I wonder if we can do a comparison. Wait a minute, hold up, let me get this up. All right, I, I just rushed around and got this grease 
This is the uh, Dax with the lanolin, lanolin in it and it's pomade also. Is this a pomade too? No, this ain't no pomade. This uh, Kolkata is not a pomade. I, I don't even know if they even recommend you putting your hair as a styler. Usually pomades are great for styling your hair. And, you know, like those guys who want to fly fresh waves in their hair, they will put this in their hair. If you got an itchy scalp, you put this in your hair. But they probably want you. No, this is not a pomade. As a matter of fact, it, it doesn't feel like this original one. I like the way this smells. This reminds me when I was a little girl in school. So let's look at the difference. So that's more, it's more thicker and, and a little bit heavier, I think. But let's see, put that down. We're gonna get this Dax. Yeah. How much was this Dax? I think, I think the green Dax was somewhere around, oh man, I'm making a mess. I think it was somewhere around uh, three or four dollars too. Something like that. I didn't sit there and messed up the comparison, but anyway. Look at that blue black. That's the blue black right there. Remember when um, you know, when we were we were in school and the, the bad kids, and I never did this. I didn't I didn't tease kids when I was little. I guess because I was a kid that was getting teased. And I didn't think it was cool to tease people when they were different, but remember when they were little, or maybe you. If you were, here they go, on my fingertips. Green and black and blue. Is it blurry? It looks like it's blurry. Oh, that green. Oh, that green. But yeah, uh, remember they used to call. Ooh. That's good as a mix. I didn't know that could be that good, though. I think I like. Oh, man, look at how it's melting into my hair. I might just go on and put this in my hair right here and do my hair next week. Yeah, I might, I might try to do it next week because, oh, oh, okay. Wait a minute though, wait a minute. You got me looking like an Indian girl. You got me looking like an Indian girl, Daxi. What up, Daxi? What up, Daxi? Hmm, that probably trying to figure out what is she gonna say about being teased in school. Remember, y'all used to call little dark, dark skinned kids tar babies. Y'all can call me a tar baby now because a, a greasy tar baby. Because I got me some tar to put in my head. And but yeah, these are called little chocolate kids, little greasy babies. Look, I mean not greasy babies, little tar babies. Now what does that mean? Just because the skin was dark, you gonna call them tar, dark tar babies? I used to hear that all the time. Shut up, tar baby. I'm like, what is that? And then I would smell the tar on a summer day, and I'm like, oh, you did, did you just call that kid that smell? Did you call that kid the way that, that streak looks? So you know, tar is dark. Tar is dark. I got a lot of hair shed, guys, because I have not been combing my hair. But it does have a nice shine. Now, you probably wonder, well, Nancy, how in the world are you not able to shampoo your hair? Because I'm telling you guys, I be overwhelmed. I have a full-time job. I have a house. I have mood swings. I have things that be going on. That people keep costing me money around here. Earlier today, a repair guy came over and he had to reset my water pressure because I was having dripping water throughout the house and it's winter time now and I did not want my pipes to burst. And honey, he didn't came over here and started messing around with the water, hot water tank. Yes, he did. He came over and started messing with that hot water tank and turned the valve and all of a sudden you heard it was boom. Oh, sh you know, cussing and stuff. And so I get up out of my um, office and I'm running in there to see, because I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the computer, you know, doing my YouTube thing, trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my channel. And all I hear is water running everywhere. This man had turned the water on. Well, he tried to turn the knob on the valve, valve and it burst and the pressure was so high and water was shooting all over my wigs and stuff. I said, you about to get your little butt put out of my house. You got water on my wigs. Okay. And it was just a hot watery mess. And next thing you know, it was so much water all over my laundry room. All over his coat to where I had to get a, he said, here, take this bucket and put it, put it underneath this water. So I'm holding the bucket, all this water coming out like, whoosh. 
and he had to race and go turn off other stuff, like turn off another main valve or stuff, and it was that almost broke off. And then he gonna say, well, you know, that was that valve that I turned, that was already broken. It, you know, it's, it was outdated and stuff like that. And you know, repairmen would always blame what they did wrong on your stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, no, I'm a fool. It wasn't, didn't do that. All these just, just is you, girl. And so next thing, I'm holding this bucket and it's getting heavier and heavier because, you know, he's trying to look for a. Um, Something oh to turn off the valve and he running around with his head cut off and it was a water it was a hot it was a hot watery cold day baby so now you just see my house it was four of us floating down my street you wanna know who the four is it was me him with his dumb ass the dog in the house all four of us are floating right down the street we look like a, a family full of knuckleheads on a sailboat baby let me tell you something. If you ever be a homeowner as a single woman just be, just have your money together. And have yourself uh, emergency emergency stash because it cost me six hundred twenty dollars. You feel me? And I had gotten another company to come by this morning to look at my the same problem. And he he was trying to charge me nine hundred dollars. I said you didn't sadly got me messed up, partner. So anyway, and then he was gonna come back in a week or two and, and fix it. I got the job done, although we was floating down the water, down the street on, a, on, one, on one on one sailboat, looking real crazy. But we got it together. So I just went on and got a mop. I so started mopping the floor. I just mopped the whole basement. That's how much water it was. I was able to mop the whole basement with the uh, with the little mop, and I got a nice clean floor on the basement. Okay, so you probably trying to figure out what you got to do with this video. I ain't got nothing to do with this video. I just needed you all to listen to me because I needed somebody to listen to me. Whoo! So if you ever decide to be a single woman, if you are a single woman, you have your own home, you know, share a little bit, and then let the other ones who you know, all of us. Uh, other independent women know then having a home by yourself ain't no joke now when I was a fly girl I used to have men working on my house it's for on my house for me but I ain't been out there like that so uh, I just been unassing money good thing I got a job I got a job and I get paid for my YouTube videos and I'm okay I can I can pay it you know what I'm saying I can pay I can take care of myself but honey, somebody got to start selling something around here. I'm gonna have to put Shay Shay out there on the streets or something. Put your tutu on Shay Shay. Go on out there with your tutu and go on out there and sell something. You know, go out there and do some type of tricks or something. I don't know. You need to do something. We need some water in this house because it, it was water running down the street and I need I got repairs. Oh my god. So um, I think that's it for now. Let me go and put some more. Put the excess grease on the back of my hair since I still got some greasy hands. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, like I said, the repair guys want to make it seem like your stuff is already messed up. They don't want to say they messed up, so they want to blame it on you. And then you be trying to pay, you, you know, you be trying to look out for not having to pay people who don't really know what they're doing, like some little jack legs. You know, I can give uh, Bobo down the street. He can fix my stuff for me for two or three hundred dollars. And then he end up messing up stuff uh, and making stuff worse. And then you paying extra, you, you know, you paying top dollars for great service. And then they mess your stuff up. Y'all better fix my stuff. That's all I'm going to tell you. OK, but anyway, I'm glad you guys got a chance to sit here and listen to me. I don't know if I'm going to edit a lot of this video. I'm just going to I might just keep this video completely raw. And you guys be saying, Nancy, you're so real. You, you, you speak so real. And that's because it's much easier for me to just be myself. I used to cut, try to get on here and try to be like, oh, hello, everybody. My name is Nancy Nips, and also knows and no, also known as Nancy. But baby, now I'll be like, uh, what's up? How you doing? This your girl, Nancy Nips. You know what I'm saying? It's just, because tonight I didn't want to make no video. I said, get up, just throw on a little bit of makeup. And just post this video. Don't worry about nothing. They they gonna like you anyway, the way you are. And I like you too. I love you guys. I, I y'all have me laughing. Listen, listen. To, I don't know why I got a slippery mouth tonight. I just got some slipperiness going on in my mouth. All right. So guys, yeah, I like the um, the Dax, the black the black Dax, uh, Kakoda. I like it. I have to get used to the smell, but it's okay. If you can get past the smell, you'll be alright. Sometimes it's more like a smoked foot, like a smoked pig's foot or something. I don't know. So you guys have a great day. And uh, I'll, I'll see you all in the next video. I wanted to get on her real pretty and, you know, have my makeup on and looking like a glamour girl. And that, eh, guys, that, that's really not me all the time. I am really a dusty little bum. 
And I said, they, they don't care about all that. They just want to see you, Nancy. Just get your butt on her. Try to stay consistent like you said you was going to do. So this year I'm supposed to put out 53 videos because it's going to be 53 weeks in a year. And I'm missing one video. So I'm going to try to get one more video out before February 1st. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Hmm. I'm trying to give you a kiss with all this hair and grease on here. Mm-hmm. <laughs>